Next up for Young Floyd was Kino Rodriguez. Now, Kino was the first experienced fighter Floyd had faced in, in Floyd's um, first six-round fight of his career as well. It, it was also Floyd's first fight as a pro that he fought in his hometown of um, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Rodriguez had a record of 9-9-2 nine, nine, and two as a pro. Um, Floyd ended up winning this one by TKO in the first round also. So check out how the commentators talk about the skills of Floyd even this early in his career to show that it wasn't a fluke that Floyd was considered one of the best and possibly could be end up one of the best. Kino Rodriguez now will try to take the big step up against the kid who has such a marvelous amateur career and is off to a magnificent start as a professional. Button their start. Good jab by Mayweather. He's very, very quick. That got in light years ahead of the defense put up by Rodriguez. Two jabs. Rodriguez wasn't even close in terms of speed of stopping it. I think I got a new name for Floyd. It's just attitude. He's got a lot of attitude in there. Attitude with his punches. Attitude with his style in there. A couple of good left hooks by Mayweather, but Rodriguez took them very well. He said otherwise, Floyd's a bit of everybody. Got the elusiveness from Jeff. The jab from Roger. He is a tremendous fighter. If you let oh, him left hook to the body. Put Rodriguez down. Left hook to the body, and Rodriguez is hurt, gasping for air. Oh, well. I think he, that's it. Is he going to make it up? Oh, man. Jumps to his feet. A pair of terrific. And that is it. Here we go. He comes and tries to set that left hook. He saw the opening, took the left hook, and went for it. That's that's well schooled, Rich. You know what to do. You take what your opponent gives you. It was the left hook to the body, I think, that did him in. Yeah. He set him up pretty nicely because as Rodriguez was coming in, he was starting to bring his hands up to guard his face. Floyd was good enough to go to the body. Good left hook to the body, to the ribs, did the damage. Sets him up, works that body. See, Rodriguez felt that earlier left hook right on the rib. You know, a lot of kids this young do not punch much to the body, Tony. It's a long card. no problem doing it. Floyd, attitude, Mayweather. Well, he can dance, he can punch. <laughs> He's got good balance. <laughs> he can talk, and there's a lot of people who think that he can do it all in that ring. If you can talk the talk and walk the walk, I guess it ain't bragging. All right, we're going to get the official word now on the time of this one-round KO for Floyd Mayweather from Mark Barrow. Ladies and gentlemen, the time... One minute, 44 seconds of the first round. The winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather. Floyd then faces the journeyman, Bobby Giepert, on the undercard of Oscar De La Hoya versus Pernell Whitaker. Uh, a fight I still feel Whitaker won by, but anyway, this is about Floyd. Giebert was 19 and 8, and Floyd knocked him out in the first round of their six-round fight. Giebert, who was um, Floyd's second southpaw he faced, actually fought Roy Jones Jr. in the amateurs. Larry Merchant even talks about looking forward to watching the growth of this young Floyd Mayweather Jr. How long ago did you fight Bobby Giebert, Roy? Back when I was 13 years old. So that would be 14 years ago? Yep, exactly. What do you remember about him? That he was left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? He hasn't changed. <laughs> Still a southpaw. Giebert said to us yesterday that he wanted to go to Floyd Mayweather's body. He thinks that's the vulnerability of all superstar young fighters, is that they probably haven't been tested to the ribcage yet. That's his plan. And the vulnerability of guys who haven't fought much is that they were in the, er, in the later rounds. This one's scheduled for Goal. six. Down goes Keeper. Quick, Three, straight, four, right hand punch. Five, Seems to six, be aware of what's going on. Seven, Does he want to get up? Yeah, he wants to get I up. Right. He shouldn't last much longer now. 
I don't think he's ever been caught with a punch like that as, since being professional. A little blood trickling from the left nostril of Bobby Giefert as Mayweather looks for another opportunity to land the right hand. Bangs a left to the body. Giefert now fiddling with the nose as he tries to get the blood flow to stop. And Mayweather comes back with rights, and Giefer will go down, and That's it. Joe Cortez says that'll do. One minute, 28 seconds of the first round, or about a minute and a half of the first round, something like that. And Floyd Mayweather has yet another quick KO victory. All right, stay on your side. You guys have to. I have a lot of pieces out. Giefer is hurt. He's hurt Bleeding. bad. He got caught with some very sharp punches by Floyd Mayweather. Take a nice deep breath. That was the first knockdown, a quick, straight lead right hand. You can see that Mayweather has terrific tools. Uh, and it's going to be interesting watching him mature. He's a lightweight now, could grow into a welterweight. This young man has some ability, and he comes from a fighting tradition. That left to the ear started the end of that. Giefert is now sitting on a stool as we watch this rerun. Particular. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joe Cortez calls a halt to the bout at one minute and 30 seconds of the very first round. The winner by knockout victory. His record now six and oh five KOs. He is the pride of the fighting Mayweather's pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. Well, J.B., he electrocuted him with right hands. Floyd now takes on Tony Duran, who was 12, 15, and 1. Um, Floyd ends up stopping him in the first round by TKO. And at the, end of the, uh, at the end of the fight, you can hear the commentators talk about Floyd's power once again. So check that out. And that young man, Floyd Mayweather, is one exciting fighter to watch. Emmanuel Stewart was quoted as saying, there have been very few who have been more talented than this kid. He'll probably win two or three world championships. I think he'll go on to be one of the best ever. Well, tonight you're getting a chance to get a glimpse of perhaps one of the best ever. You can see here. That Of course, the Mayweather family is one that is well known throughout the boxing world. Floyd's two uncles are Jeff and Roger, both former world championship, the world champions, and they are also his trainers. Oh, and down goes Duran with a sharp right turned in by Mayweather, and Duran is extremely dazed. Toby Gibson putting the count on Tony Duran. And this one is over. Tony Duran continuing to plead his case, saying that he's okay. Playing a bit of possum there. Well, it did not work out because just suffered a defeat at the hands of Floyd Mayweather. Perhaps the quickest fight in Floyd's career. This one, I'll be shocked if it lasted longer than a minute. Fight lasted a total of one minute and 12 seconds. And the thing about Floyd that is so impressive, and you rarely see this in fighters who have such speed, is that he possesses power as well. And when you have a fighter who has the speed complemented by power, then what you have is a fighter with the makings of a championship belt for him, possibly. Toby Gibson para la pelea. El vencedor por knockout técnico en un minuto, 12 segundos del primer asalto. Referee Toby Gibson stopped the bout, the winner by a technical knockout in one minute, 12 seconds of round number two, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. Larry O'Shields was um, next up for Floyd after dispensing Duran. Um, O'Shields was 12, 3, and 1. 
and he survived all six rounds to lose by unanimous decision in this fight. Well, Shields was a tough Irish fighter who could really take a good shot. Um, this is the first fight that Mayweather fought for six full rounds. So check this out. There's a jab by Mayweather. Gets it started here. Showing some respect for the track record of Larry O'Shields, who's 12-3-1, so 16 pro fights for Shields. Knows a lot more than Mayweather's previous opponents. I think we just saw that right moments ago. <laughs> That's true. One thing, too, Mayweather has a beautiful jab, and he uses it to set him up with the right hand. If there's any question about his right hand, it's going to be answered tonight, because one thing, he can throw. He's been a very fast offensive starter in all of his fights. Mayweather's had one four-round decision, four one-round knockouts, and two two-round knockouts in his career. But you get the feel this has a different atmosphere to it, as though he expects a bit of a distance here. In fact, it hasn't been a night of knockouts. Fights going the distance. And Lario Shields came in with a winning streak, but didn't really show us why. It's true. He didn't show much at all in this fight. We have to keep in mind Mayweather's only 20 years of age. So uh, he has some growing up to do. Not only that, you got to also take into account that Shields probably never fought under such success. The unanimous questions. winner, still undefeated, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather Jr. So Floyd Mayweather improving to 8-0. And, oh, and we'll have a lot to look back on and learn from this fight. He had some moments where things came together and other moments where he looks not consistent and surely his people will pick up on that. As you say, he's only 20 years old, a lot of time.